Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Lakefeld Industrial and Welding Supplies, with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Welcome back to Shawnee High School, where the starting lineups are being read, and we'll read them for you as well. First for Walpock, again coming into tonight, four and seven, one and two in the Western Buckeye League. They start with six foot junior guard, Zach Niekamp. 6'1", forward, Nate Metzger, he's also a junior. A senior, number 14, Jackson Quarter, he stands at 6'5". Cash Shadel is a junior, he stands at 6'1". And then Deacon Redderer, another senior, standing at 6'7". Shawnee, on the other hand, will start with a much smaller lineup, especially with 6'4", Austin Miller out tonight. They start with three guards, 6'0", Will Miller, Six foot Dominic Lynch, six foot Toby Freiberger, and five nine Keegan Wilson. And then at forward, they'll start with freshman Beckett Burke, who provides the size for this starting lineup at six foot three. Don. Yeah, you know, and, and Berkey comes in averaging ten points a game, so you know he puts up up some uh, needed scoring for the Shawnee team. Yeah, you know, Will McBride, 12 and a half points a game. So, but they're going to have to find somebody else to make up 14 points, like you said, for Austin Miller. You know, particularly against this Wapkin at a team. And you know, we talked about it. You know, you got to if you're Shawnee, you want to you want to put these guys in a hole real quick, and you don't want to let them hang around. That's one of the problems with Wapkin at You know, they're four and seven. They won their last game against Van Wert in overtime, 46-44. You don't want them to hang in there. You know, if, if you get into the fourth quarter in a close game with these guys, and, and you might find yourself in the losing end. So you want to put them away early. You want to get out to that, that lead and, and hang on to it. Flip side with Wolfgang, that is well coached. I mean, you can't say anything else. You know, they may be, you know, they're going to have some size tonight. They're going to have some ability to get to the boards and get some rebounds. So, you know, Shawnee's going to have to play a really good game and, you know, to hold off these Redskins. You talk about Beckett Burke, just a freshman, like you said, and he plays like an upperclassman. I'm excited to watch him tonight. He gets better every single time I watch him play, and he'll be in the tip-off circle against Deacon Redderer. And we are underway. Redderer wins the tip as he tips it over to Nate Metzger. And here we go with Wapak, Zach Niekamp, backing it out, has it tipped away, and good hustle from the Indians, but standing on the line, or at least laying on the line, was Will McBride, so a Wapak basketball right in front of us. Yeah, that's one thing we talked about, too, is, you know, this defense for Shawnee feeds their offense, and they do a lot of scrambling around. You know, they dive for every loose ball. They, you know, hands are everywhere. you got to be really on your toes to, to watch your passes and to hang on to the basketball. Nate Metzger sends it inside for Redderer. Redderer back outside. This is Jackson Quarter dribbling to his right. Quarter, flips it back, open three from Cash Shadle, no good. Freiberger grabs the rebound. Oh, don't leave him open. McBride <laughs> steps into a three, makes no mistake. As Dar said, not a guy you want to leave open. Absolutely not, he was wide open. Shawnee forces a turnover with the pressure as Coach Elkert tells his squad to settle down. Three nothing Indians early on on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard. Yeah, they're going to have to get out there and make sure that Shawnee doesn't get those open threes because, they, you know, they'll knock down those threes all night long. They were about a 30% three-point shooting team. But uh, they, knew, they can hit some clutch, clutch threes when they have to. Indians back to work offensively. Here is Burt Key. He goes right past his defender and puts it in. He caught quarter, or excuse me, Redderer asleep. Yeah, Burt Key made that look awfully easy, too. Indians lead 5-0. We're getting close to a 10-second count. And they barely get it over in time as the Redskins set up the offense with Jackson Quarter. Quarter to the right, can't find anywhere. Flips it back to the left to Nate Metzger. Metzger goes baseline. That shot's good and the foul as he tumbles right into the band. Nice move there by Metzger to get around his defender and get to the basket. The foul called against Toby Freiberger. It'll be his first team first of the evening. Sending yep. Nate Metzger to the line. And Metzger, a 50% free throw shooter, 8 for 16 coming into this game. 
He hits that one, 5-3 now the score. Freiberger will set things up for the Indians. Here's Dominic Lynch over to Burt Key. Burt Key tries to go baseline, this time cut off by Redderer. Deep three from Freiberger, that's no good. Shadow with the rebound. Yeah, this Wapaw team doesn't doesn't press a lot on the you know on a full court press. They're content to play their half court defense and half court offense more. Indians cut the Redskins off baseline. Ball goes back court, tracked down by the Redskins. Here's quarter to the baseline. Good patient offensive possession, and it results in a three from Zach Neekamp. Dar, you talked about it. This team likes to find their shot. They don't force a whole lot. Any no. shot you see them take is good, and that was a good one there. Yeah, they have great half-court offense, and they, they move the ball around really well and get that open shot as well. The backcourt violation, as referee says, that went off of the leg of Dominic Lynch, so the Redskins get it back. They lead by one, six to five early. Yeah, it's both teams with one turnover so far. Noonan with some pressure. Excuse me, that's Dominic Lynch. Pressure on Jackson Quarter. Quarter's one of those guys averaging about 12 points a game. But really, you know, he, he's the field general out there more than anything else. Now Lynch called for a foul. Two shots coming up for Zach Nekant. Nekant, a 79% free throw shooter, 37 for 47. Not sure what the holdup is here. They're having a quick chat with Zach Noonan down on the block. We'll get the first free throw from Zach Niekamp, the six-foot junior guard. Knocks that one in. He has four points. Yeah, Zach Niekamp is the leading scorer for the season two at 12 and a half points. And the 24, Brady Davis checks in for Sean and Newton will take a break. Is the second free throw good from Niekamp as well? He has five. Redskins lead eight to five, three minutes into this one. McBride gets Davis on the roll, nothing there. A good defense by Wolfkinetta, just closing off those lanes and not letting Shawnee get back to the basket again. Davis goes inside, runs into trouble. Good possession from the Indians, they move this one around. Freiberger thought about a three and then pulls it down. Good inside defense as soon as Shawnee gets to the rack. There's nowhere to go. You hear the Wapak fans shouting. They're excited about a good defensive possession. But I think that's where Shawnee's going to miss Austin Miller the most is, you know, just getting to that to the basket. They're not able to penetrate past those three defenders that keep moving around for Wapkinetta. Indians get inside. They pass it out. Here's Keegan Wilson. Wilson's fouled. That foul is against Knee Camp. That's his first. First against the Redskins of the night. Boy, the Redskins working really hard on defense. Johnny's going to have to knock down another one from the outside to open up that middle a little bit. Nice cut to the basket. Will McBride with the finish. McBride came off a screen, had no one in front of him on his way down the lane. That's five points now for Will McBride. Meanwhile, the Redskins have it on the wing. Redder sends it up to Porter. Porter dribbles left, spins inside. That's a good move. Oh, <laughs> First basket for Porter. 10-7, Wapak on top. Nice roll from Burt Key, gets the pass, gets some contact, and that's what I'm talking about when I say he plays better or bigger than a freshman. He absorbs some big contact right there and still finished with ease. 
Yeah, he certainly has. And I mean, you know, he's got nice moves on the inside. You know, gets good elevation. Able to put the ball in uh, up over the top of the defender. This is Nate Metzger dribbling to his left. Now outside, quarter. Puts it on the deck, gets inside, and it goes. No help defense from Shawnee right there. And Walpock needs a good game from quarter. Four points so far for quarter. Berkey foul, that's on the ground. Maybe number two against the Redskins. We get Metzger, that's Nate Metzger's first. Yeah, we talked about walking out of the, you know, scoring, they're averaging 39 points a game, and that's really by design more than anything else. They play a lot of half-court offense, really precise on the game. Shawnee passes that out of bounds, so Walpock will take over. Full-court pressure from the Indians. Ball passed into Zach Camp. He'll be guarded full-court by Keegan Wilson. Camp gets it across, and it's an offensive foul as Meekamp put that elbow right into the chest of Keegan Wilson. Good job by Wilson to hold his position there. Coach Triplett sending in some directions to his squad as Logan Crow checks in for Wapak Canetta. He'll replace Zach Meekamp. 2.27 on the clock. Wapak up three, 12-7. 12-9, excuse me. Pashone off a screen, shoots. That goes, the basket counts. The screen was off ball, but they said Whoa. it was after the shot. So they'll get the three points. The foul called against Cass Shadle. That'll be his first, so Shawnee will retain possession after the foul. The three counts. Coach Elkert looking for an explanation, pleading his case. I don't think it's going to make much difference, but he, you know. Referees now having a chat based on the information Elkert gave to him. I think they, I mean, the determination here has to be, did the foul occur before the right. shot? Right. Or did it occur after the shot? They're going to say it occurred during the shot. So the three points count. The score's tied at 12, and Shawnee with possession. And again, that was an open look three-pointer for Shawnee, and you can't leave those guys out there to shoot those guys. You've got to get a hand out there on them and contest those shots. Now ball in the corner with Davis. Wilson back over to Davis. Here's Will McBride. Burt keep posting up, but the ball knocked away from behind. Watch that reach it in. Third turnover now for the Indians. Just over a minute and a half to play in this first quarter. Quarter up top. Now Nate Metzger gives it right back to quarter. Yeah, they got to be careful to do it. Keep Quarter out there, not let him make that break to the basket that he's been able to do so far. And good footwork on his gathers as well. As soon as he gets around the basket, he knows how to find space. Now Logan Crow. Crow tries the backdoor pass. We've got a foul. And they're going to call that against Keegan Wilson. That'll be Keegan's first, team third. Mark Triplett over there giving his explanation. Doing a little coaching of the referees, I think. That's right. Both of these coaches giving the refs an ear full. Quarter turns around. That's no good. Pashon touched it, but then Burke ended up with the rebound. And here comes Dominic Lynch, who just checked back into the game. Lynch gets it back as Nate Metzger comes out to challenge. Yeah, Walpaw's been concentrating so heavily on guarding that paint, not letting Shawnee get the breaks to the basket, but they've also allowed them to have two outside looks. Here's 
Davis. Ball swung around. It's Dominic Lynch. Again, Metzger coming out. Indians content to go for that last shot. 22 on the clock. Here's Burt Key. Pass was low. Shawnee able to grab it with Dominic Lynch. 11 on the clock. Davis goes inside, takes some contact. All right, he's called for a travel. So a turnover, six seconds on the clock. Wapak, a chance to get some points before the end of this first quarter. Quarter. will jump into a shot. No good as he lost the handle. And so, here first quarter score, all knotted up at 12 on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. We'll be right back with the second quarter on WOSN after this. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Walpock and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Four free throws in that first quarter. Oh, on the Walpockinetta side. And now Walpock with a steal and a look at the basket. Oh, nice nice shot. finish. That was Caleb Moyer, the quarterback, absorbing some contact and finishing. Now a three, Gabus, that doesn't go. Moyer grabs the rebound. And Moyer only come in, averaging just under a, a point a game. And... Backdoor cut, Pashon takes it away for Shawnee. Drops it off for Gabus. Now Burke, quick trigger. No good from him. Rebound grabbed by Deacon Redder. And neither team given second opportunity shots, you know, tonight. You know, rebounding's been kind of scarce so far, but. Nate Metzger sends it outside to Jackson Quarter. Now Redder gets good position, turns oh, and nice scores. Oh, nice shot off the board. He pinned Berkey under the basket before he caught that ball and made for an easy turn and score. That's five players now for Wapakoneta you know, in the scoring column. Indians need a basket here. They can't let the, the Redskins pull away from them this early. This pass in to Will McBride. McBride spins his way in, jumps, and can't finish. Good defense inside once again for the Redskins as Porter brings it up. Porter inside, now Moyer. Nice head fake. Quarter for three. No good fight for the rebound. And it's Moyer and a foul. Couple substitutes ready to check in for the Indians after we get the foul call. It's against Pashon. That's his first. Team's fourth. Zach Noonan will check in. Freiberger back in as well. And then Keegan Wilson, the third Indian, to check in at the buzzer. Six minutes to go here in the half. Metzger outside. Three on the way. Splash. Cash Shadle with the three. And he pushes the score out to 19 to 14. Freiberger's three is no good. Sorry, it's 19 to 12, the scoreboard malfunction there. Walpock takes it away. They give it ahead, and there they finish. Deacon Redderer. I think Triplett's gonna be calling a timeout pretty quick. 21 to 12. Walpock on a nice run, the Indians trying to slow it down. Inside they go, nice dump off and a foul on the shot. Dominic Lynch will head to the free throw line for some Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Boy, I'll tell you what, you can't say that too many times tonight because I'm going to get hungry before so. I know it. <laughs> Got to go get a pot pie after this one. Can't go wrong at Lee's famous recipe chicken. First free throw up and good. 
Dominic Lynch. Lynch with his first point of the night. Lynch 10 for 15 coming into this game. So good free throw shooter as this Shawnee team is hitting almost 75% of their free throws. Both go to make the score 21 to 14, seven point lead for the Redskins. Back to full court pressure. One broke in. Oh. And too easy and we'll call it a dunk, Dar. Yeah, we'll we give will. it to him. And the ball went flying away, so they blow the whistle. Paul Paul did a great job of breaking that press and finding the open guy, you know, underneath the basket and redder. Inside go the Indians. That's Keegan Wilson. And now we've got a foul. That one's on the ground, so the shot won't count. Foul is against Cash Chadel. Number two against him, six against the Redskins. And another substitute for Wapak as Ryan Richardson, the six foot freshman, checks in. A lot of freshmen coming in this game. You know, Moyer out there as a freshman. The flip side, you see, you know, Keegan Wilson, or I mean, uh, who's it? Perky over there for Shawnee as a freshman. Now another freshman in for Wapakoneta. An easy one there is a little miscommunication left Dominic Lynch wide open. That's four points now for Lynch. And a foul against Lynch. That's number two against Lynch. We push it off every time. Will McBride checks in, as does Beckett Burke. Lynch will stay in there with two fouls. Four minutes, 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. 23-16, Walpock on top on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard. Here's Moyer, Redderer gets good position once again. And they say in the post you need to do your work before you get the ball. And he's done a really nice job getting good position on post ups. He has, and he's got a really nice touch when he gets up around the rim. A lot of his balls are rolling around. Bank open late here at Shawnee as Lynch puts that in off the glass. As I said, you watch Redeker underneath the basket, and you know, it's the ball just rolls around. The ball hit the line, Wilson tapped it away. He just has so much size. A lot of times you see that when a guy has that much size over his opponent. Certainly looks like they're pushing, but it's just part of the game, trying to turn and post up. A little lob pass, quarter not able to finish. Redder gets the rebound up off the glass again. I said he got to the great. That's 10 points now for Redder. And it's just such a smooth, you know, underneath the basket. Wilson through contact, can't finish. Berkey gets the rebound. He misses the follow up. Metzger grabs the rebound. That ball goes out, and it's off of Walpaw. Maybe. Metzger, the referee, about to come over, have a quick chat. They're going to switch the call. That's the right call, mind you. Always love when a referee crew communicates, gets together, and makes the right call. They go with the referee. has got a better vantage point. Side. Moyer steps back, three-pointer. It's no good, and it hit the little wire up top. So it's technically out of bounds. Shawnee gets the team rebound. And here comes Freiberger, just over three minutes to play second quarter. Indians need to get a little momentum right now. That'll be a foul against Jackson Quarter as he runs right through Berkey's screen. Jackson 
So now they're going to have a question. Did that foul occur before yeah. the shot? Because the three went in. The three will not count, but it will be one and one as that's the seventh team foul against Walpaw. And it looks like the Redskins want a timeout. And now they get it. So a lot of... A lot of stuff going on on the court. And finally, we get a timeout, a 30-second timeout from Walpock as we step aside as well. 27-19, the Redskins on top here on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight is presented by Leifeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. And on that scoreboard, it reads 27-19, Wapak on top of Shawnee. A one and one coming up for Beck Berkey, who set a screen and got run right through. He's not able to finish. And Redder grabs the rebound, but it's knocked away. Layup no good, and ball tipped out to Caleb Moyer. Metzger on the wing. Now quarter. Quarter steps back and sends it over to Nate Metzger. Metzger hits Moyer right in the face. Redder has a shot block. Moyer grabs it, floats it up, and somehow gets it to go. Wow. He lost the handle, he gets it back. And a foul on the shot, Will McBride will have two Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throws. It's the first against Caleb Moyer, number eight against Walpock, who leads by 10. Yeah, Will McBride, 85.5% free throw shooter. First one goes. In comes Brady Davis. Right, averaging 12 and a half points a game. Six foot senior. It's the second to go. Johnny back to within eight. Moyer will bring it up against Keegan Wilson. Moyer runs into some pressure, now gets it away. Deacon Redderer. Redderer has it knocked away, but gets it right back. Here's Porter, mid-range jumper, that's good. Yeah, Jackson's one of those guys you can't leave open either because he can hit that shot from that corner. One minute, 41 seconds on the clock. Ball goes out. It'll be Shawnee basketball. Indians down 10 at home. McBride went baseline. Couldn't hit the three from the corner. Moyer grabs the rebound. Here's Porter, backs his way in, goes up, off glass, no good. And an offensive foul. Jordan Schneider, the senior, was just camping right there. Yes, he was. He had position about five seconds before the contact. That'll be the first against Will McBride. Coach Trickwood not terribly happy with what he's seen from his team. Some of the calls here so far tonight. Intense environment here in Shawnee. And that's going to be foul number seven against the Indians. And we'll send... Logan, or excuse me, Jordan Schneider to the line. That'd be the second one against Will McBride, too. Exactly 60 seconds on the clock. Schneider just one for two at the foul line. Famous recipe chicken free throw up. No good. And a foul on the rebound. 
Make it foul number eight against the Indians. That's Will McBride, wow. and he gets his third just like that. And they cannot afford to lose Will McBride, that's for sure. McBride will take a seat. Pashone checks in for him. Things resting. Free throw no good as well. That was his first free throw opportunity of the season. Wilson inside. Nice dump off to Berkey who finishes. Thirty-eight seconds. Thirty-one. Twenty-three. Wapak on top on the Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard. Metzger. Sends it outside. Here's Logan Crow. Back to Metzger. Oh, that wall off. Maybe try to get the last shot of this half. 15 seconds on the clock. It's a lot of time to hang on to the ball, though. Metzger to the corner. Three-pointer on the way. High arcing three. Whoa. And it goes. Logan Crow knocks it in. One second on the clock. And a foul on the shot. So at the buzzer, two Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming up for Keegan Wilson. 11 point lead as it stands for the Redskins. Wilson misses that one. These are some of the hardest free throws to make, by the way. They are. Nobody out there no, to contest no one it. one around. Everybody watching you. The entire student section yelling in your left ear. Wilson misses both. So, your halftime score. Walpock 34, Shawnee 23 right here on WOSN. We will step aside. When we return, a special interview with my guy, Paulie Ferris. Johnny Indian statistician coming up on the other side of the break right here on WOSA. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We welcome you back for halftime at Shawnee. And as I said before the break, my guy Paulie Karras with me, the statistician for the Indians basketball team. Paulie, how you doing, buddy? Good. Good, good to have you here. Paulie, tell me uh, some of your general thoughts about the first half there. I think we did really well tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And the Indians kind of struggling here down by 11. What do you think they need to do in the second half to, uh, to get back into this game? Just play harder, box out more. I like that. I like that a lot, Paulie. Give me your thoughts on the, the season so far here at Shawnee. I think we're doing good this year. Good. Ups and downs, but we're doing good. Yeah, starting to put it together here late. How long have you been uh, into basketball, Paulie? Three years. Three years? Nice. Or more, I don't know. Is this your favorite sport? No. What's your favorite sport? Baseball. Don't tell me you're an Atlanta Braves fan. I am. You're an Atlanta Braves fan. My God, Paulie Karras. Any final thoughts here, Paulie? Nope. All right, man. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to have you, and good luck the rest of the way, my guy. Yep. Thank you for having me. We will step aside when we return some halftime thoughts from Dar Nevergal on WOSN. Welcome back. About five minutes to go until the second half begins. And Dar, I want to talk a little bit about the first half. Obviously, Walpock with an 11 point lead. They have to be happy with their effort in that first half, but it certainly seemed like a very physical, sometimes sloppy game. Yeah, it was you know, in a lot of respects. But, you know, Walpock definitely has to be happy with their shooting. I mean, they're, they're you know, 11 for 16 from two point range, you know, 14 for 23 overall. 
you know, so they they've been getting the shots they won. We always we talked about their shot selection and stuff, and a lot of it comes through their big guy underneath. I mean, he's he's been able to finish off about every shot he's put up there. But you know, the other thing too is you know, three for seven for three point range. You know, Shawnee on the other hand, eight for twenty from the field. You know, and just you know, three for eight from three point range. But you know, Wapak's got eleven rebounds. Shawnee seven. You know, Wapak's took care of the ball. They've only turned it over four times. You know, Wap uh, Shawnee's turned it over six times so far. You know, so there's a lot of things. That, and we talked about, you know, with Austin Miller not being in there, you know, of course, you know, that's their big score and stuff. But Austin also did a lot of as far as getting to the basket and stuff. And right now, that's really what's hurting Shawnee is they can't get to the basket, you know, to get those finish off those layoffs and stuff underneath. And, and Wapak doing a great job on defense and stopping that. You know, so that's something they're going to have to. I'm sure Mark Triple is going to talk to his team about. We've got to find a way to get on the inside. If that means, you know, you know, hitting a couple shots on the outside. They got a couple of them in the first half, but they need more of those to open up that middle. Walpock's taking it away from them right now. And we talked about that in the pregame. You know, one of the things they had to do was control the paint, and that's right now in favor of Walpockinetta. Thank you, Dar. Again, your halftime score here in Shawnee. It's Walpock 34, Shawnee 23. We will step aside one more time, and on the other side of the break, it's the second half right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School for the start of the second half. Shawnee trailing the visiting Wapak Redskins 34-23 and it's the Redskins wearing the red starting with the ball here in the second half. That shot up no good, Redderer grabs the rebound. Redderer tries to turn, but ends up taking too many steps. So Walpock starts the half with the turnover. Yeah, Walpock had a 22 to 11 advantage there in that second quarter, and that's really what the margin has been. They were 12-12 at the end of the first. Walpock really took advantage in the second quarter. You now Redderer with uh, 10 points to lead the Redskins. Inside goes Beckett, Burkeen again. We saw that in the first half. He does such a nice job of absorbing contact at the basket and finishing. He has eight points. Well, and the thing is, is he's only a freshman, like you said, Evan, but he's not afraid to, to go to the basket against either, you know, the, some of the bigger guys. He's the tallest player on the court for the Indians at six foot three. The Indians missing 6'4 senior Austin Miller tonight. Dar, you talked at halftime about how some of that height is causing the Indians some trouble underneath defensively. Yeah, because they're not getting they're not getting the rebounds that they should be getting, you know, that kind of thing. You know, but like I said, Austin Miller was such a, you know, good scorer, and is that, and he could go to the basket hard and stuff. Congratulations, to Austin, the All-American in soccer, and, you know, opportunity to go to Philadelphia for the banquet. You know, so kudos to him. You know, but it, it's really hurting Shawnee not to have that six foot four in there. Meanwhile, three-point shot, no good from Wapak. Second effort, good, though. And that's a deep one from Zach Niekamp. Eight points now for Niekamp. That's his second three-pointer tonight. 37-25, the Wapak lead. Here's Wilson outside for Dominic Lynch, who pulls up, misses off the front. Here's Redder inside. Redder turns, goes up. Offensive foul. Good job by the Indians to front him on that one and not let him get free range to the basket. The one thing for Shawnee tonight is they're not getting any second shots. I mean, you know, if they're not they're not getting any offensive rebounds, if they don't get that first shot to go in, you know, Wapkin is cleaning off the glass. Shawnee back to work offensively. Freiberger gives it up to Will McBride. Now Wilson. Berkey against Redderer. Not intimidated by that size. Not able to hit the shot. Freiberger grabs the rebound. Misses the follow-up. Misses the second one. Third one up, and that goes. Four total shots for the Indians on that possession. Ultimately two points to bring the score to within 10. Side and another offensive foul. 
That one's against Zach Niekamp. That's number three against Niekamp. As Moyer goes to the table, he'll check in. Again, good job by the Indians to you know, take that lane away from them. Standing the ground underneath there and just taking the, the beating right now. Lynch thought about a three. Now sends it over to Will McBride. Freiberger has some space, launches, that's short. And Moyer grabs the rebound. Porter brings it up, gets it right back. Patience shown here from Wapak. Slowing down the pace up 10. And they're maintaining that advantage, even though we've seen you know, two offensive fouls by them and you know, a lot of hard work by the Indians on defense. Quarter posts up, gets double team, lost the handle. Wapak able to retain possession. And this is the Wapak team that we see all the time. I mean, fundamentally sound, you know, play half court offense, look for the best shot, you know, make the defense work, you know, on the other side. That was a long possession, no basket on that shot. Moyer with the follow up doesn't hit. Lynch pulls in the rebound. McBride goes quickly ahead and a jump ball called. That's the right call, actually. Good job by the referee stepping in. Ball stays with the Indians underneath. And Will McBride had seven points in that first half, but he's also playing with three fouls right now. Bert Key again through contact. He has 10 points and a quick timeout taken by the Indians. They're back and within single digits, 37-29. The Walpock lead as we step aside. 4.06 to go here in the third quarter. You're watching high school basketball on WSA. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Welcome back to Shawnee High School where it's 37-29. Walpock on top of the Shawnee Indians. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergall with you tonight. Indians with a 6-3 advantage so far here in the third quarter. Full court pressure for Shawnee, but no problem for Walpock to break it. Moyer in the corner, runs into some trouble, trying to get it away, finds Porter. Jackson Porter over to the corner. Three on the way. That's no good. Missed by Cash Shadle. Freiberger all alone. That three's no good. Nice rebound and a leak. Shadle goes up and the easy layup. Yeah, long rebounds like that lead to easy points a lot of times. Walpock back up by 10 again. Here's Nick Pashone, gives it up to Bertke. Swings around to Freiberger. He needs to just not been able to get over the hump. They make a little run, but then Walpock gets a basket and keeps that double digit lead. Bertke working to get around Redder, goes up and oh, look at why. that. My goodness. No space for him to get that ball up and in, but somehow finds a way. 12 points for Beckett. Walpock almost loses it. Ball knocked away from Moyer, they do. Pashone goes up and he's blocked by Quarter. Nope, a foul. That'll be number three against Quarter. Number three in the half against Walpock. So some Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming up for Nick Pashones. Nick 10 for 13 coming into this game. First free throw up and good. Brady Gavis and Will McBride checking in for the Indians. 
Porter staying out there with those three fouls. It'll be interesting to see if Shawnee comes down and tries to challenge him into foul number four. Pashone hits one of two Lee's free throws. It's interesting, the two field generals out there, Will McBride and Jackson Quarter, both with three fouls. Walpock just moving it side to side right now. Content up seven. Shadle sends it inside. Redder can't handle the pass. And Nine it's a turnovers. Turnover. Well, they only had four in the first half. They've already got five here in the third quarter. Shawnee trying to inch closer. Berkey. Pass shown. Now Gavis. Gavis attacks. That's oh. a good take. Not able to finish with the left hand. Nice strong take to the rack. The Indians are starting to find a little bit of a... Chinking the, chink the armor there for for Rolf Ganetta. They've been able to get to the basket two or three times now here in the third quarter. Indians in his own defense. And a foul against Walpock. So that'll be number four against Walpock. Still no fouls in the half against Shawnee with 1.23 to go in the third quarter. And it's the second call against Nate Metzger. an opportunity for Shawnee to cut down that lead even more. Deacon Redderer will get a break and correction. It's four team fouls against Walpock so far in the half. They go inside, Burke Key through contact again. That one's no good, but the rebound bounces out to Nick Pashone. Now McBride. Oh, you got to be impressed with Berkey. I mean, he's just nose to the grindstone and just plowing his way in there. And a block shot right there. Logan Crow comes over to block Davis' a shot. Quarter over to Moyer. 40 seconds on the third quarter clock. Quarter. They just want to run it down again. It's a long time to hold on to a ball, though, for the last shot. Ball to the high post. Metzger. And a timeout taken by Walpock with 14.6 on the clock. We'll be right back with the remainder of the third quarter after this. 39-32, Walpock on top on WOSN. Free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in line with Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Ten seconds on the clock in the third quarter. Wapak trying to extend their seven-point lead as quarter turns, spins, nowhere to go. Fires it back, three-pointer up, no good. And that is how this quarter ends. 39-32, Wapak with the lead. At Shawnee High School, an exciting fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Back for the start of the fourth quarter here at Shawnee. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergal with you tonight. And right now it's Wapak 39-32, but Dar, we saw at the end of that quarter, Shawnee starting to get their footing and starting to climb back into this one. Well, and they're being led by Berkey underneath. <clears throat> the young man's just taking the ball to the, the hoop. He's taking it on himself to try to contest it underneath there and get those points that they need underneath the basket. And that was actually a 9-5 win for the... Shawnee Indians in the third quarter. But 
you know, again, what we talked about, they need to get on the inside. Berkey's going to try to do that as much as he can, playing above what a freshman normally would play, I would think. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good. Good defense from Nick Cashone, but the long rebound goes to the Redskins. That's a three. That one's good. Cash Shadle steps into that one. He has eight points and extends this lead back to double digits. That's his second three-pointer of the night. Berkey inside. He's done a nice job inside and a jump ball. Ball stays with the Indians on the possession arrow. Yeah, Walpoff trying to drop down two players now on Berkey and not let him get a free reign underneath there. Freiberger to inbound. This pass tipped away by Zach Niekamp. They'll retry. Berkey. Berkey goes baseline. Back into the contact. That's no good. Rebound tipped around. That'll be Indians basketball. They'll inbound from the same spot. Time it's in for Dominic Lynch. Three-pointer on the way. That's good from Will McBride. And a timeout taken by the Indians as they answer with a three of their own. McBride at the 10 points. Lead at seven for Walpaw. As we step aside, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Wapak holding on to a seven-point lead. The Indians have played some good offense, but so far, Wapak able to fend off the attack. Yeah, Wapak going to go again, you know, slow it down a little bit more. Try to work it around. Keep it in the hands of Jackson Colder as much as they can. Here's Cash Shadle up to Moyer, back to quarter. I don't think Walpock's looking to score right now. No, they're not. They're content to run that clock down as much as they can. Well, Shadle's going to get an open look. He might as well. That's three now for Shadle, three three-pointers. Two of them here in the second half. 11 points for him. Shawnee trying to answer. Splash. McBride with 13 points. And his third three-pointer of the night. Porter running into some trouble. Able to get it up to Metzger. Metzger goes inside, absorbs some contact. He'll have two Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming up. Second foul against Freiberger, just the first against the Indians. So Nate Metzger will have two free throws. Metzger so far tonight, just three points. 50% free throw shooter. First one, no good. Keegan Wilson checks in for Nick Pashon. Second one, no good either, but Corder grabs the offensive rebound and is immediately fouled. Number two against the Indians, and Walpaw will keep possession. Yeah, Jackson Quarter just out-rebounded them on that one. He just got up higher than anybody else did. And they had two defenders on both sides of him that just had to put their hands out there. Loose ball. Freiberger gets the pass from Wilson, goes up. Blocked from behind by Metzger, but a foul called. So two more Lee's free throws, this time for the Indians. And Toby Freiberger. That's number three against Nate Metzger. First free throw up and good. 
Three points now for Freiberger. Freiberger, a player that contributed a lot as a sophomore to the Indians, but unfortunately last season suffered an injury and didn't get to play, at least not much. But back in action, the senior leader for this Indians team, he has four and he closes the gap to five. Metzger has it knocked away. All out of bounds, Metzger will inbound. Metzger gets it in. Walpock able to cross the timeline, but knocked away and a foul against Walpock, number six. And that'll be quarter number four, four for him for Jackson Porter. So with five minutes, 31 seconds, Porter will have to take a seat replaced by Jackson Rutterer. That's their main ball handler as well, Dar. It'll be an it interesting It certainly is. And you got to be impressed with Will McBride, too, because he's out there just hustling all over the place, going for steals and everything else, and he's sitting with three fouls as well. Here's McBride over to Wilson. Wilson out to Dominic Lynch. Indians looking to attack the basket. Bert Key loses his footing, flips it out. Good patient possession from the Indians, only down five. You don't really need a quick shot, just look for yours. A lot of contact inside, ball floated up, and it's a shooting foul. Some more leaves, chicken, three throws coming up. Dar, I am hungry. <laughs> I tell you what, we've had a few free throws in this game. Well, that's the guy you want at the line. 85.5% free throw shooter. Two for two in the first half. Making him 49 for 57 from the line so far this season. The foul, by the way, was on Nate Metzger. That was Metzger's fourth. Seventh against the Redskins. It's a shooting foul. They said one and one initially, but it's a shooting foul, so it'll be two free throws. Yeah. Make sure to check out Lee's and Lima Wapak and Delphus. Check them out also for your catering needs. Home style happens here. McBride hits the first. The lead cut to four. 14 points for Will McBride. Second one up, it's good. Just a three-point lead. Ball in for Shadel. Now Metzger. He gets it up to Zach Meekin. Here's Redderer. And his pass is behind Metzger. We've got a foul. And an offensive one. And that's against Metzger. That'll be number five. Wow. Metzger will sit with five fouls. It's number eight against Walpock. It's an offensive player control foul, so the Indians will not get free throws out of it. So he leaves with three points tonight. But the other thing, too, is Jackson Quarter has, has four fouls as well. And if this game gets into down to the wire like it looks like it's going to be, that could be key for them as well. He's going to have to play very tentatively. Four and a half to play. Three-point lead for the Redskins. The Indians on a run. Trying to cut in or even tie this game on this possession. Here's Lynch. Burt Key. Three-pointer. Splash! <laughs> tie ball game here in Shawnee as Beckett Burt Key, the freshman, steps into one and ties it up. It's a 10-0 run for the Indians to tie this up. As we step aside with 4.18 to go, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Four eighteen to go here in Shawnee. It's 45-45 as the Indians 
come all the way back from a 12-point deficit to tie it up and plenty of clock left. Jackson Porter back into the game for Walpaw. He has four fouls. Nate Metzger's already fouled out of this one. And Bob, I'll tell you what, Evan, that was a gutsy shot by, um, you know, Berkey to hit that one there. He was nine for 28 on three-pointers coming into this one. Shawnee tries to jump a pass, not able to get there, but able to recover. Wapak steps out. Here's Zach Meekamp. Meekamp to Moyer. Moyer to quarter. Moyer gets a screen, now gets it back to quarter. Another one of those patented long possessions from Wapak. Yeah, they're gonna find, they're gonna run down as much clock as they can and try to get them, you know, their feet back underneath them after that run by Sean A. Porter, good footwork, spins, nice pass to Moyer. Moyer hits the shot and he's fouled. Will McBride tacked with his fourth. And a Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw coming up for Caleb Moyer. Yeah, Moyer two Sorry, for sophomore. six. Two for six coming into this game, you know. Last correction, he is a freshman as he misses that free throw. Walpock gets the offensive board though. Not good for Shawnee. A lot of pressure up top, the Indians foul. The third against Dominic Lynch, the fourth against the Indians. It looked like an intentional foul, but I'm sure that wasn't what they wanted right there. No, but a good time to do it. I mean, they only have four fouls. Ball in, quarter in trouble, but a timeout called. Just got it in time. The wow. ball just came loose right after Coach Elkert asked for that timeout. So with 3.08 on the clock, we will step aside. 47 45, Wapak holding on. Board is presented by Wakefield Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. 47-45 on that Wakefield scoreboard. 3:08 to go in the fourth quarter, and it's Wapak with a 47-45 lead. It was tied at 45, and they got their first basket in about three minutes of game time to push it up to 47. Now it's going to come down to how much leg does Shawnee have left after making that run to, to get back in this game, you know. They use a lot of energy to do that. Can they carry it into this, this fourth quarter to finish it off? Moyer has it poked away. Good hustle from Dominic Lynch. Ball still loose. We'll have a jump ball. And the arrow points Walpong's way. The arrow will flip. Shawnee will get the next jump ball, but meanwhile, Wapak struggling to hold on to the basketball. Well, it, the Indians are so aggressive, you know, going for the basketball. You know, they take their chances of getting the fouls, but, you know, they, they're going for the ball every time, and then they're not afraid to dive to the ground to take it away, too. Fusion here, but looks like we're sorted out. Moyer will throw it in for Walpock. Zach Niekamp, the junior, will bring it up. Niekamp in trouble. Niekamp lost the handle, but he was fouled. Foul number five against the Indians. And the second called against Keegan Wilson. This is an all-out battle right now, I'll tell you what. It's very great, physical. Great environment to play in as well. Both these fan bases into it. Porter inside, kicks it out to Moyer. 
faked a three, then sends it out to Zach Niekamp. This possession's been extended by a, a couple loose balls, an offensive rebound, but we've got an offensive foul. That's against Jackson Porter, and He'll that's be out number there five too. against him. Porter will exit. Six points for him tonight, but he's done a great job handling the rock for the Redskins, moving the ball through the offense and also playing some great defense. But Jordan Schneider checks in for the Redskins. We'll have to see how big of a blow that's going to be for them. They've already lost Nate Metzger. Now they've lost Jackson Porter as well. And, you know, they're so the floor guys are in here pretty much you know, sitting on the bench right at the moment. They still have Zach Niekamp, but. And don't forget, Walpock has nine fouls, and so the next one puts the Indians at the line for two least famous recipe chicken free throws. Inside, and the shot's good. And a foul, a chance for the Indians to take their first lead in quite some time in this game. How about Will McBride's effort tonight? 17 points, a chance for 18, and a chance to give his team a lead with just over two minutes to play. Well, we knew with Austin Miller not playing tonight, you know, that somebody had to really step up big for the Indians, and that's been Will McBride tonight. And he hits the free throw timeout taken by Coach Triplett. It's a full timeout. The Indians find themselves on top for the first time in quite a while, 48-47. Shawnee on top on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Evan Skilleturn, Dar Nevergal with you is the Indians lead, 48-47, Dar. I don't have it in front of me, but I do believe this is the first lead of the game for the Indians. If not, it's their first lead in quite some time. Yeah, the, you know, we finished the first quarter at 12 apiece, but I think you're right, Evan. I don't think that they've had a lead up until this point. And it's really come down to the two guys, you know, Will McBride and Beckett Berkey. It's really carried this team into this point so far. Two leaders on this team for Wapak have fouled out. Jackson Porter and Nate Metzger. Who will step up for the Redskins? Ball in the corner, Logan Crow. Yeah, they need to keep an eye on Cash Shadle out there, not to allow him open on that three-point opportunity from the corner. Here's Moyer. Back out to Moyer, and they're not worried about Moyer shooting the ball. You can see. Back, back out quite a bit. He does have six points, though, so, you know. And the Indians are actually playing a zone defense. They're playing with three, and they're face guarding two players. And we've got a foul away from the ball, which doesn't hurt a ton. It is the sixth foul against the Indians, and the third against Keegan Wilson. Yeah, if you're watching closely over there, you got Dominic Leach and Lynch over there just right in the face of Shadle because they know you can shoot that corner shot. Three-pointer on the way. That is no good. Rebound tipped out to Burt Key. Burt Key passes ahead and he jumped in the air. Had to get rid of it. Throws it right back to Walpock. So now Walpock with 42 on the clock and a timeout taken by Coach Elker. Season 18 of Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Campbell every Friday for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around. All season long Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Also, what questions do you have about life, about God, about things happening in your community or in your family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 
Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30. You can also find it online at WTLW.com. 48-47, the score here at Shawnee. 41 seconds on the clock, Dar. Walpock has possession. Now, how long do you wait until you take a shot? Because if you miss, obviously you want a second opportunity. You don't want to play for the last shot in this situation, but also 41 seconds is a lot of time. It's, it's a long time, and, but we've seen both teams do that here in this game, you know, at the end of quarters, you know, starting about 30 seconds or so into the clock, and they, they play for the last shot. And, and, you know, I don't know, I think 41 seconds, you got to take a shot pretty soon, you know, and, and give yourself enough time. You know, try to get it inside. You're, you obviously want to try to get it to your guy on the wing that can hit those shots on the wing, but, you know, Shawnee's not going to let him, you know, they're all over him on that one, not going to let him get anywhere near that. So, you know, get it into the big guy underneath. He hasn't scored in a long time. You know, Rhetoric has just not been able to put anything in. Almost stolen away, but Walpock able to get it back with 20 seconds. Here's Logan Crow. Crow outside to Zach Neekamp, down to 13 seconds. And a foul against the Indians. That's number seven. Some big least famous recipe chicken free throws coming up. It'll be Zach Neekamp at the line. That's foul number four against Keegan Wilson. And if you're walking at it, that's the guy you want to line right there, Zach Niekamp. 79% free throw shooter coming into this game. Two for two tonight. Niekamp hits the first and ties it up. Nick Pashone will check in for the Indians. 12 seconds on the clock. Big one coming up. Nikan hits the second. Walpock with the lead and a timeout taken by Coach Elkert. My goodness, Doug. Uh, well, that, like I said, that's the guy you wanted at the line, and they were obviously trying to keep the ball in his hands as much as they could for that opportunity. You know, a lot of people thought maybe they were yelling for an offensive foul on him on that one there but the defensive guy was moving at the time, so you couldn't do that. But yeah, you you know, Nick Camp's the guy you want. He's a junior leading scorer on this team, and he just hit two big ones right there. The Indians will have to go the length of the floor, 12 seconds to go. They have a timeout left, so if I had a guess, they'll try to inbound quickly get it across half court, then call a timeout and draw up a sideline out of bounds play. Absolutely. And you know, and the question is who's going to take that shot for them as well. You know, Will McBride, you know, everybody going to think he's going to do it. Well, a couple of his teammates, a couple of Burt Key's teammates just went up to him and patted him on the chest. Perhaps an indicator of where the ball's going. But then you can get it into Berkey underneath too and let Berkey draw the foul. Here's Freiberger. Indians just going to play it out. Freiberger to the hoop, goes up. No foul called. There's a lot of contact. Three seconds. Berkey throws it up. And I think the Indians called timeout. Or was no, I foul? think Berkey got fouled. He did. Oh, my goodness. Lee's wow. famous recipe chicken getting their money to work tonight. Berkey came into this game 17 for 21 at the free throw line. 0 for 1 so far tonight. What, an, what a time for this young man right here. You know, the six foot three freshman. Biggest free throws of the season for him right at the moment. He gets two of them. And they're checking on something over at the scorer's table. Yeah, they had 18 seconds up on the on the board up there. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know, that could be fun. Put 18 yeah. more up there. Yeah. This is considering it started with 12.1 seconds. Bert Key misses the first. A 
big one coming up. Needs it to tie. It's up and good. Walpock time for one last heave if they can get a clean inbound. Moyer looking for someone to go to. Remember, he's the quarterback. Ball thrown up. Shadle turns, fires. Oh, oh my. got it. But instead, it's overtime here in Shawnee. We will step aside. 49 all the score. Five more minutes back on the clock and more basketball to be played when we return. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Free basketball in Shawnee. Four more minutes to play. It's overtime number one as the Indians tie it late with a free throw from Beckett Burke with one second to go. This is the third overtime game for Walpkinetta this season. Second one in a row. And Walpock playing this overtime period without Nate Metzger or Jackson Quarter, two starters for this basketball team. Both have fouled out. Shawnee wins the tip. Freiberger. No good for him. Rebound batted around, grabbed by Moyer. Fans want over the back, but Redder is just tall. He was straight up and down when he grabbed that basketball. Here's Redder on the left wing. Gives it up to Zach Neekamp. Redder has been really quiet here in the second half. He had 10 points in the first half. So far, he's not scored here in the second half. Dominic Lynch gets tacked with his fourth foul. It's number eight against the Indians, so it sends Zach Niekamp to the line. Niekamp a perfect four for four so far. Five for five now for Mr. Niekamp. I wonder if he's going to Lee's famous recipe chicken out there. Uh, they give him a free meal, they should. I don't know if that's legal in Ohio. Yeah, maybe not. A whole other discussion we could have. Yeah, but it certainly is. Name, image, and likeness as both free throws go in. Zach Niekamp, perfect from the line. 11 points tonight and a two-point lead for the Redskins. Bert Key goes baseline. McBride outside to Bert Key. Indians will set things up. Nice patient possession. Three-pointer on the way. Dominic Lynch! <laughs> Dominic's been quiet so far here in the second half, too. You know, he had seven points in the first half. Two, that's his second three-pointer. Lynch now with 10 points as the Indians go on top. 52-51 and a quick Timeout taken. Want to thank our sponsors again. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight was Leifeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. And our free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Also, be sure to stay tuned after the game as we'll have our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. And check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner and all the other winners from throughout the season. By the way, if you didn't know this, on YouTube, about a week after every game airs, it's uploaded to YouTube. You can catch full games for free on our YouTube page. A week after they air, you can also see highlights from just about every game we cover. And check out the Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winners and top five plays from every week. So a really good face, or excuse me, really good YouTube page to oh, absolutely. follow and subscribe to if absolutely. you're a local sports fan. Unfortunately, you have to hear my voice on about half those <laughs> games, but. That's all One right. way or the other, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. 3.02 to go in this first overtime period. 52-51. Shawnee on top. Caleb Moyer will bring it down the court. Moyer to Redderer. Shawnee still in that 
three-man zone defense as they face guard Shadel, as well as Logan Crow, and an offensive foul, an illegal screen. Good job by Keegan Wilson on that, because he's been shadowing uh, Shadel the whole time, and he ran right into that screen. So the Indians get it back, looking to extend their lead. Wilson, now Burt Key, up top. Lynch thought about it. Yeah, the Indians don't play a, a long half-court offense. I mean, they they pull the trigger pretty quick. The question is, how disciplined can you have them now so that they can run some of the time? Doing a nice job moving it around the perimeter at the moment. Ball swung around for Freiberger. McBride back to Freiberger. The Indians have run the clock down for about a minute and 10 seconds on this possession. And with only a one point advantage, Wapkin is not in a big hurry to, to challenge him too strongly. Especially now with 10 fouls, you got to be really careful. Yep. Inside goes Lynch oh. off the glass and in. Nice shot by the junior. Second big shot. Lynch with 12 points. Three point lead for Shawnee. Lynch only averaging 5.7 points a game coming into this. Boyer to Rutterer. Wallpark's got to get going here. I'll tell you what, Rutterer's not even looking at the basket right now. He has in the whole second half, really. Redder has it here at the free throw line. Three-pointer on the way, quick trigger. It's no good, but a foul on the shot. Foul sends Kneecamp to the wow. line for three shots. He was calling that one the whole time. He said he slapped me on the arm. First one up and good. Second one good. Kneecamp with eight points. Chance to tie it here on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Free throw, three of those boys, probably drumsticks. Yes. It's good. That's seven in a row at the foul line for that young man. And the score's tied at 54 with 45 seconds to go. Indians working on offense. McBride hands to Freiberger. Lynch goes inside, nowhere to go, kicks it out, gets it right back. Good tight defense by Walkinetta, shutting down the middle. Good look out, by look Berkey. out, look out. Goes up, can't finish. And held possession, the tie-up goes to Walpaw. Coach Triplett, a little confused about the call, but ultimately gets worked out. Walpock will inbound. Score tied at 54 with 18 on the clock. Can Walpock get a shot for the win? Moyer, all the way inside. Shadel, three-pointer. Shot no good, but a, the whistle was blown. Uh, timeout was taken by Coach Elkert before the Whoa. shot. That's what happened. And it's a full timeout. Full timeout. OK. So a lot of confusion there as it took the referees a second to figure it out. But they've done a really nice job tonight. This oh, they has been have. a game they have. where there's been contact. It's been full court for a lot of it. And they've had to make some really tough calls. But from my perspective, and I think yours as well, they've done a nice job. Now, if you ask the other two coaches, 
I'm not well, too sure, yeah, but that's, that's how it always goes. That's how it's going to go. Or if you ask any of the fans, that's how it's going to go. But, you know, really, they have play, they have done a nice job of controlling this game pretty much because, you know, you got a, a Shawnee team that's aggressive. They, they drive for the basket. You know, there's a lot of body contact there. And then you got a Wolf team that's, that's tall and, and athletic and, you know, a lot of body contact underneath, a lot of pushing away, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, it, if they want to get ticky tacky, they could have called a lot of things, you know, if they want to. But they let they controlled the game, kept the tempo going, you know, and we're down to this position right here. So what is Wapak drawn up here? Coach Elkert is young, but one of the best in the business already. Well, naturally, they want to get it in, you know, back into Neekamp's hands as fast as they can because, you know, either way, if he hits a shot or if he gets fouled. You know, he's right now he's been an automatic two-point, you know, free throw shooter. They have to throw it into Redder, not really what they wanted. Ball is Zach Nikan. Nikan floats it in off glass and in. And the clock was supposed to stop, I believe. Yeah, once the basket was made. Shawnee took a timeout as soon as that shot went in. Referee will talk and try to sort out what should be on the clock here. So we'll have to see. Either way, it's a big shot from Walpaw. Yeah, it certainly was. And it, you know, I'm banking it off the glass like that, too, because you know it wasn't like it was uncontested, because he definitely had somebody all over him when he shot it. And like I said, that's the guy they wanted to have the ball. You know, he's the leader out there. You lose Metzger, you lose Coulter. You know, you got Neekamp out there, who's your leading scorer on this team, by the way. But, you know, the guy that even if he misses a shot, he takes the opportunity to get a foul, you know, because he's Mr. Automatic at the foul line. So, yeah, it, you know, everything worked out in Walpock's favor in that one. But only two seconds left for Sean E to get anything off of here. We'll put two point. Oh, so two seconds exactly on the clock for the Indians. Where do they put Redderer? I assume underneath the basket to make sure Shawnee can't toss something up. Ball in for Freiberger. He turns, pulls up. Shot is no good. And the Redskins hold on in overtime to win this one. 56 54 in a great Western Buckeye League matchup, and it had everything we thought it would. Yeah, it certainly did. Yeah, the Indians came, came to play. You got to give the credit to, to Will Price, you know, for Johnny, because he played that entire second half with three fouls and played his heart out in that scenario. Really throwing Dominic Lee. Lynch, you did an outstanding job as well, and the Berkey kid as well. But on Walpock's side, you know, they had a disadvantage coming into this overtime. They lose the top, you know, two players on that team. You know, they only had D camp in there if he carried them through that overtime period. You know, so big credit to the Redskins. You know, second overtime win. This is now the, the third overtime win for this Walpock and Redskins this season. So you don't want them to get into overtime. Absolutely a great game for the Redskins. Hey, we're going to step aside, but stay tuned. When we return, it will be our Stolly Hustle Award and some final thoughts here in Shawnee. Two-point win for the Redskins as we step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. And tonight, Dar, I don't think we can give it to anyone else other than the 18-point scorer, Mr. Perfect from the free throw line, Zach Niekamp. Congratulations to Zach Niekamp. Congratulations to Wapak as they win 54-52 to move to 5-7 and seven on the season. 2-2 two and two in the Western Buckeye League. The loss drops the Indians to 6-6, six and six, also 2-2. Two and two in the Western Buckeye League. Hey, want to thank the Shawnee Athletic Department for their hospitality. Love the front row seats here in the gym. Also want to thank Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken for their support of the station. Can't forget Stolly Insurance as well. 
For Kelsey Beimer and Stephen O'Neill, our crew member, as well as Darn Evergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great night, and God bless.